Miles Turner pushing for the Lakers to trade those first round picks for him. We're going to get into that in just a second. But first, my name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. And if you haven't yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And if you really want to support the channel, smash that like button. And I want to know from you down below in the comments section, do you think the Lakers should trade those two first round picks for Miles Turner and Buddy Heald? Let me know down below. And for all latest Lakers, news head over to all so I've been following the NBA for my entire life, and today I saw something that I've never seen before. You had a player essentially openly lobbying for a team to trade for him. Indiana Pacers star Miles Turner was on Woj's podcast, and Woj asked him about the Lakers and if the Lakers should move those two first-round picks, the 2027 unprotected first-round pick and the 2029 unprotected first-round pick for him and potentially Buddy Heald. And here's what Miles Turner told Woj. He said, if I'm the Lakers, I take a very hard look at this with the position that you're in. I know what I can provide for a team, my leadership, my shot blocking, my three-point ability, and just my ability to make plays out there on the floor. And I take a very long look at it, but as far as pulling the trigger, I get paid to shoot. I'm not paid to make these calls, so I couldn't answer that. I just feel like here in the Midwest, we don't get the love that I think we deserve. It doesn't get taken on the national level. You are under the microscope out there at the West. When you're doing bad, you're going to hear about it. When you're doing great, you're going to get a lot of love, especially with the love that the Lakers get. He'll go on to say, I think that another aspect that is appealing is playing with greatness and playing under LeBron. I feel like he demands a certain level of excellency, especially at this point of his career. It's just one of those things. When you're out there, you got to perform. People are going to expect you to go out there and hold on to that legacy that the Lakers have built over the years. So tell me you want to be a Laker without telling me you want to be a Laker. That sounds like a guy who would love to don the purple and gold. The only question now is do the Lakers still make that move? We saw the success they had last night with Russell Westbrook coming off the bench. 18 points. You saw him facilitating. He was a spark plug a catalyst, got that second unit going, still finished the game alongside Anthony Davis and LeBron, and you would still have to most likely part ways with those picks. Now, the question I have is, would you be able to make that trade without having to part ways with Russell Westbrook? Could you get a deal done maybe for just Miles Turner, and then you look elsewhere for another shooter? Now, the Lakers desperately need to add more shooting, but let's say they want to add Miles Turner. Could they get that deal done without including Russell Westbrook? Well, they most certainly could. You could trade Kendrick Nunn and Patrick Beverly, and that would get the salaries to work. The next question would be, what kind of draft pick compensation would the Pacers want to get a deal done? I personally believe that they want to trade Miles Turner and Buddy Heald and get those two first-round picks, the 2027 unprotected and 2029 unprotected, as well as getting Russell Westbrook that expiring contract. But I think it's worth the Lakers at least contacting the the Pacers and Miles Turner, maybe after this latest discussion that Turner had with Woj, maybe the Pacers don't like that. I think from an optic standpoint, that doesn't look good. If I was a fan of the Pacers, I wouldn't love my center going out there and talking about how great it would be to play with LeBron James and the fact that him and Buddy Heald don't get enough love in Indiana. So maybe the Lakers did gain a little bit of leverage, and that definitely is seen with the fact that Russell Westbrook is playing better off the bench and the fact that, hey, Miles Turner, he sounds like he wants to be in L.A. Now, the next question is, what kind of a fit does Miles Turner have with L.A. and what would he provide? Well, first and foremost, the Lakers are in desperate need of a starting center because, one, Damian Jones is just not getting it done. Two, Thomas Bryant is still out with that thumb injury, and he didn't look great during preseason. He's still trying to work his way back. I don't think you can count on Thomas Bryant to be a legitimate center. And then also, you bring in Miles Miles Turner, you allow the Anthony Davis to be that four, to be that elite help side defender that we've seen him be throughout his career, a disruptor, a guy that's just wreaking havoc on the defensive end, and then also more spacing. Miles Turner is a guy that is capable of knocking down shots from beyond the arc to the point where he does have some stretch five in him, and that opens up space for Anthony Davis to operate, and then also Miles Turner is an asset on the defensive end. The Lakers right now, they're middle of the pack in block shots. 
yards, rebounding, they can use some help. And I also think the style of defense that Miles Turner brings, where he likes to use drop coverage versus blitzing, like we saw with Frank Vogel, I think he's ideal in Darvin Ham's defensive system. So I think from that standpoint, he does check off a lot of boxes. And then also, if you can find a way to trade for Miles Turner without having to give up Russell Westbrook, that's going to help Russell Westbrook be more effective out there because then you couldn't just have centers guarding Russ and then sagging off when he's beyond the three-point line and clogging up that lane. So he would create spacing for all these Lakers players, and then he would also have his bird right. So if you do want to extend Miles Turner and keep him in purple and gold, it could be an advantageous situation for LA to bring him in now. So yeah, I mean, next year, the Lakers, they're going to have $35 million worth of cap space, and there's a lot of talk out there right now that the NBA could raise the cap next season by 10 or $11 million. So the Lakers could add Miles Turner and keep him in LA, and then you have a center that is a dynamic piece of some future runs. So yeah, I don't hate the idea, but it does feel like to me that the Pacers, they want to have the package of Turner healed for Russ and the picks. So we'll see what happens, but I think the Lakers are definitely in a better position today than they were yesterday when you consider the fact that Russ is playing better and Miles Turner clearly wants to be a Laker. But let me know down below in the comment section. Do you want to see the Lakers trade for Miles Turner? Would you still want to do the deal for healed Turner for Russ and the picks? Or would you like to see just Turner and have Russ stay in LA? I want your takes down below. My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. For all latest Lakers news and rumors all season long, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And if you really want to support the channel, smash that like button. And as always, go Lakers. Lakers.